Last night, there were some major anti-terror raids that went on here uh, in the Brussels area, but also in other places in Belgium as well. Uh, and uh, the uh, federal prosecutor here in Belgium just came out a couple of minutes ago and announced that uh, on top of the 16 people that they had originally said had been arrested, five additional people were taken into custody. Um, so the total number is now at 21. Now, of course, so far, they're saying that the man that everybody's looking for, Saleh Abdesalam, who is, of course, uh, apparently one of those who also attacked those various locations in Paris last week, is apparently not among those uh, who were netted in those raids. But I want to give you a feeling of this city because you're absolutely right. It is on absolute lockdown. I'm standing here right in the city center. What you see over there, that is the main Christmas market in Brussels. And as you can see, it isn't happening. That's the scene that we're seeing here in the Belgian capital. It's full of soldiers. It's full of police officers. There are very, very few people who are actually going out on the street because, as you say, the city is in lockdown. There's barely any public transport, no subways, only very few buses. The schools are closed. And people who we're talking to say they are absolutely concerned about the situation and they hope that it won't last very much longer. The authorities here, however, are saying they are continuously evaluating whether or not uh, to keep it uh, this way as it is right now, as we see more military vehicles rolling into the center of, of, of the European Union, if you will, of the center of the, the administrative capital of the European Union.